Let's say, for example, you do like host equals and you choose, you want the stuff to come from this host and then you want to use and or or, right? So you could say and I want to see, you know, something else. And you guys starting to see as I'm typing this stuff out, right? The same way when I was teaching Wireshark, I don't know if you guys are in my Wireshark class, but the exact same thing. Now you're starting to see, okay, I want it to be this host and I want it to be, you know, these source types and I want to see this or, right, I want to have it be this. So, like, I can go or, right, and then you can do host. Now, if you had, you know, multiple hosts, you could say that. Right? I know in this case we only have one host, but you'd be surprised just how nice this is because it makes it, pretty easy to, to do queries and searches because as you start to type, he starts letting you know, well, here's something you could, uh, you know, see. So let's say, uh, and, you know, I want to look for the word fail, right? No, you see that I don't need to capitalize the or. Uh, will you see that in most tutorials? Yes. But are you seeing how that's working for me without capitalizing that? So right here on 206, this is the basic Splunk command. In this dot, you see that's what he's got in this case right here, right? So crawl the root or home directory and add all possible inputs that are found in there. So you can see how he sets that up. He says, okay, I want you to crawl this folder and then he tells you it needs to be either the root folder or the slash users folder. And then I want you to add that as an input right here. He's using, okay, I want you to visualize this, right? Span equals I do here, right? Um, type of data is host. And then I want it to be from this internal, uh, internal index. And then like right here, He's got the ability, this was under action, so let's say you want to send this particular data or alert if you schedule it, right, to where it fires off an email. So here you can start seeing how he starts giving you all these cute little other things that you can do. Like this is stuff that I don't even really do when I use Splunk, but, you know, it's actually pretty powerful, right? <clears throat> right here, like a cum, right? So Accum count as total count, right? Add info to an event, right? Search for this 404, and then when you do that, make that a column that you append to my search. And you see how they've just got so much of this, right? Um, I want you to pull in fields, but the delimiter, I want them to be a uh, semicolon or a comma, right? So, like I said, to get a good feel of Splunk, this is um, the basic reference sheet that I use. Then what I did last class was I did a bunch of attacks with Metasploit. Okay, so what I did was I attacked the Windows machine so that I could generate a bunch of logs. So I wanted to be able to generate a bunch of logs because I wanted to generate events for it.